you like a bug and I may still show mercy. I fought colds tougher than you May still show mercy. See you burn. Beaten by you. I'll get you. I'll see you burn. something ah! healed and I may still show mercy ah! Damn. <laughs> <Invade> my home <laughs> Heal, 
field, and I may still show You're mercy. You're making me angry. I'm gonna kill you. See you burn. There you are. Look, I... I just wanted to say thanks for coming to find me back in Dawnstar. Crazy Jester finally met his match, am I right? Let me get... Don't take offense to the nicknames, Morsel. I'm a werewolf. Hard not to think of you as a snack. <laughs> so it's done. You've killed the gourmet. And now, Titus Mead II is as good as dead. Oh, yes. And I've decided you will have the honor. <laughs> Look at you. So calm, so confident. I do believe you were born for this task. So let's begin. Go now to Castle Dower in Solitude. Present the Gourmet's writ of passage to the officer in charge, Commander Marrow. I'm sure you remember him. You'll gain unrestricted access to the kitchens, and then the Emperor. You're posing as a chef, so you'll be able to poison his meal rather easily. Here, take this. It's called Jaren Root. All it takes is one taste, and the effects are quite immediate. The Emperor will be serving Sithis before he even knows he's dead. Once Mead has been killed, escape through the upper door and across the bridge. I've arranged for it to be unguarded once the alarm is sounded. Now go, my friend. Go and fulfill your destiny as listener. Represent us well, brother. Releasing a captured dragon. I don't think I'll ever understand that one. This city is crawling with Imperial Legion, and you know what? I'm still nervous. Lazy and useless, a lot of them. They can't even keep us. Stop right there. The tower is off limits until further notice. What's this now? Uh, order of His Eminence, possessor of these papers. The Gourmet. By Azra. The Gourmet! I... I'm sorry, I didn't realize. We had no idea who to expect. You understand, I'm, You're not dressed as I would have suspected. But please, don't let me keep you. Proceed to the kitchen straight away. Gianna, the castle chef, has been eagerly awaiting your arrival. I misunderstand. It's just... I feel for him, that's all. To carry a weight like that, it's got to take its toll. If that happened to me, I'd be a wreck.
not another delivery. I told you people our stocks are fine. Now put whatever you have over there, then get out. The gourmet? Oh, finally. When I heard the gourmet was being brought in to cook for the Emperor, I could hardly believe it. It's just... I... well, I just can't believe the gourmet is a dark elf. How difficult it must have been for you in Morrowind. The food there is... Oh, well, uh, actually, you're not. Wearing a chef's hat, I mean. There's one right over there on the shelf. You can't very well cook without it. Just look at you. Absolutely brilliant. Now, now you're just as I imagined. Oh, just look at you. Absolute. Oh, yes, but of course. <clears throat> the Emperor has requested your signature dish. The potage le magnifique. I've taken the liberty of getting it started. But the cookbook only says so much, and everyone makes the potage differently. I would be honored if we could make it the gourmet special way. The base broth is already boiled. We can get started right now. So, uh, which ingredient should I add next? Carrots? Really? Okay. What next? Of course. I suspected as much. A giant's toe? You're sure about that? Of course. I'm sorry. One giant's toe. There. What, uh, what next? Mmm. Horker. So delicious, I swear. Is there a soul alive who doesn't enjoy the taste of... Sorry, I didn't mean to get carried away. There we go. One cup of diced horker meat. I have to say, the stew seems done. Add anything else and we may dilute the distinct flavors. So, is that it? <laughs> 